This is Tim DeLay with using Windows Home Server.com and the BYOB Podcast. In this video, I'll show you how to download the free BlackBerry Podcast app. What you're going to do is you're going to go to BlackBerry App World within your BlackBerry. You're going to do a search for podcast. And you're going to download the free BlackBerry app. Now there are different apps out there, but I would suggest using the BlackBerry Podcast app by RIM, Research and Motion. You can click on that and it'll now download the BlackBerry application. Now I've already got mine installed, so let's go back. It will put it in the Downloads folder. You can see it's ready to go. And one of the things I suggest is moving it up to your main folder. So I'm going to move it to Folder, Home. So now it's available within my regular folder. So you can see here that I have it here. I will click on Move, and I'll move it right up to the top. Okay. Then what I'll do is I'll go through and uncheck Show All, since I don't need some of the other ones. And here is my application. Now, one of the things that you'll see here, I've already got the shows in here. But one of the things that you'll see is you can actually go to Explore Podcasts, and there are different channels. Now, this is some of the default stuff that's in there. Some of these you may like, some of them you may not. You can also scroll to the right down over here in Categories, and you click on the different categories. You can see you can go right to down at the bottom, which we all care about, is Technology, and there are 42 channels. Now, when you do this, some of your other shows are already in here. For example, uh, Podcasts 411, uh, there's some Techzilla stuff in here. It's kind of cool. Uh, Geek Brief. Um, there's some other stuff in here, Leo Laporte, things like that. But what do you want to do if you want to watch your own podcast? Well, what you can do is you can go, you can click on the BlackBerry Messenger button, and you can go to Add Podcast Channel. Now, once you've done this, you can actually enter in the URL of the feed that you want to put for your podcast. Now, I entered in the, the ones that I had for Home Server Show and for BYOB Podcast. So specifically, you can go to the website, but you're looking at HTTPS feeds2.feedburner.com forward slash HSS podcast. The BYOB podcast is HTTP colon forward slash forward slash feeds.feedburner.com forward slash BYOB podcast. So it's neat to be able to do that. Once you've done that, all of your podcasts will be available. For example, on the BYOB podcast, we are here and ready to go. I have subscribed to this through the BlackBerry app. Now I have episode nine and episode eight here, but I do not have episode seven and beyond. You click on the button and I can click on download and it will download. Now here's the thing, you're going to get the best performance and the, the easiest setup doing it from your wireless network at home. So I would suggest doing it that way. Uh, I have yet to be able to download these large podcasts over the wireless network. So one of the things that you do want to do is make sure that you're connected to your own home wireless network with your BlackBerry. As you do this, you can see it's not taken very long. Within just a few seconds, I'm already 10% in. So figure a couple of minutes for your favorite podcast. And again, you can go through and you can do this for any. Again, as a recap, click on the BlackBerry button, click on Add Podcast Channel, and then copy in the URL. Now, again, uh, you can enter it manually. Again, HTTP colon forward slash forward slash feeds to.feedburner.com forward slash HSS podcast or forward slash BYOB podcast. 